everybody. In this video, we're gonna talk about the audio inputs and outputs available on the Audio 4C. Let's start by talking about our inputs. So I've got my Audio 4C here, powered up, ready to go. The 4C has uh, four analog inputs and they're highly capable of basically accepting whatever you wanna send it. So we can do balanced microphone inputs, balanced or unbalanced line inputs, as well as unbalanced high impedance inputs from like an electric guitar. And any of these inputs can accept those connections. So for example, I've got an XLR cable here. This is a high quality condenser mic, it's like studio microphone. I'm gonna plug into input one. And then into input two, I'm gonna connect my electric guitar. So this is a unbalanced high impedance input, and it's gonna go directly into input two. Uh, so let's come back to the inputs in just a moment. We'll talk about this touch panel. I wanna go ahead and flip this around and talk about outputs. Now the 4C offers six analog outputs. Uh, we have these four here, uh, and then we have our headphone output. These are balanced outputs. And what's great about this is we can split um, the headphone output to be five and six if we want to, if we have the proper cable to do that. Uh, and what's really nice about these outputs is you can directly connect from these outputs into your stage snake. So you don't have to use a direct box and it's also protected to against RF interference from like a wireless mic, uh, maybe a wireless pack. And if you accidentally leave phantom power on, on any of the channels that these are connected to, um, you're gonna be perfectly fine. Your interface is not going to be messed up. Now let's spin this around. Let's go back to this front panel here because this is incredibly powerful. So like I mentioned, I have a XLR cable connected here, high quality uh, studio condenser mic. This needs phantom power. So let's give it phantom power. So this button right here, I can toggle between phantom power and uh, instrument level. Uh, and so when it's green, I'm on phantom power and I need that to go to input one. Watch how simple this is. We can press one to do that. Now input two is uh, not line level. It's a unbalanced high impedance input. So I'm gonna switch over to instrument cause it's gonna come in instrument level and I'm gonna hit two, okay? So my inputs are set up and ready to go. Now I need to set gain for my input. So let's tap in here. Let's set gain for input one. If this is sending signal, which you can see it here, uh, you see it's metering. I could adjust the gain of this while I'm watching those meters. So that's gonna take it up. That's gonna take it down. Um, or if I, and that's, you can see it's a little hot. If I tap input again and get to red, this is where it's gonna allow me to actually see the gain. So I don't see meters moving, right? I don't see levels uh, moving, but I can move move and adjust this. This is super helpful to me when I actually don't have my input set up yet. And I'll show you in a, in a moment, another place where it's helpful. So now we got one, let's go to two. Um, I don't have my guitar plugged in right now. So I'm gonna leave this on red so I can actually see the gain and I can set this and let's leave it like one notch above green. There we go. So super happy with that. Now let's go to outputs. I wanna set the, the volume of all of my outputs. I'm not metering right now, or, or you're not seeing level because I'm not sending anything. So this is a perfect reason to go here to gain and you can set the gain of all these outputs. And because I have all of these selected, I'm changing them all at once. I could also individually select just you know three and four if I wanted to, or get out of that, just one and two. Now I wanna set my headphones. So I'm gonna to go to phones here and I'm gonna go ahead and adjust that level. Let's go to red so we can see gain. And again, I can adjust that level as well too. Now, once I've got my settings just the way I want it, then I can press this down and this is gonna save my settings. You see it flash. If I wanna power this off, I can hold this down a little further and you're gonna see this guy flash here. Okay, and that means we're off. If we wanna bring it back on, then we can tap one more time and it's gonna power right back up. So again, you can see the 4C has tons of power, tons of flexibility, both in inputs and outputs. And that touch panel allows us to do a lot of things without ever having to really go to our computer to open a software. So if uh, you have any questions outside of this video that I didn't cover in this video, make sure to reach out to iConnectivity Support. They'd be more than happy to help. Take care, everybody. Bye. Thank you.